Another course that Budding Genius offers is Python. Python is an extremely popular and versatile programming language. It is very important to know as almost every computer database uses Python. So the environment we will be using to code Python is called Replit. So what is Replit? Replit is an online browser based integrated developer environment. It is extremely versatile and easy to use. The best thing about it is that you can share your project with others, making it easy to provide feedback to students. So let's take a look at Replit. So here you can see Replit. As you can see, it is browser based, which means you can access it from Google. And you can see that here we have our code window, which is where we write all our code. And you can see here where this is where the code is outputted. When you run the program, the code will be outputted here. Um, and this is the files, which is where your code is stored. And here are all the other options you have. There's packages, which lets you add little mini add-ons to your program, such as PyFiglet, which is a writing style that makes your text look cooler. So let's run this program and see what it's about. So first we have to update Python. And there it is. Here is our game. So what this is, is a text-based RPG game that students will be making in this course. As you can see, it looks very stylish, which I will be teaching students how to do. And, and a very important feature is that we can make the code window bigger, or we can make it smaller, depending on what you prefer. Now, what will students be learning in this course? Let's find out. So, what will students be learning at the end of all courses, HTML, Python, and Unity? So, in the Python course, students will learn how to make simple databases using SQLite 3 and Python. And SQLite 3 is a little sect in Python, which is all about databases. They'll also learn how to make simple text-based games in Python, which you just saw, and they'll be able to make fully functional websites with user input through HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And finally, students will make complex games with Unity via the C-sharp programming language. Now, let's take a look at what a database looks like in our Python course. So, here we have our database. As you can see, we need to import SQLite 3 as is very as this is what our whole database is based off of. Now, I won't get into all of it because it is quite complicated, but what I will say is give you a basic rundown of how this database works. So, what this database is is a student database. It holds student student names, their classroom number, their student numbers, and the day they were born, their favorite subject, and their GPA. Now, and this may look very complicated, but I assure you, it's not. And there are many different commands the students will learn while learning how to code Escalate 3. And also, the best, and, and again, the best thing about Replit is that it's very easy to access and does on Google. And also, it saves on the cloud, so you never have to download anything onto your computer. And let's see here, and also another very important thing in Python is functions. And functions are like mini programs that are independent from the rest, and you can call them wherever you want. This is very, this is very useful for organization, such as this function is our beginning input, which means we must enter a code, and then this code will happen. And it also calls a function. If you don't call a function, this code will not run, as it doesn't know it's being called. So, good programmers will always use function to divide their code. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about our course, and I hope to see you on the, in the classroom. Thanks for watching. I'm Aiden Youssef.